Happy Saturday. Who's gonna be the first one? Hey, Jank, every time, every time, a wonderful stage manager, beautiful person, it's always the first one. <laughs> so young. Welcome everybody to Straight Out of Martha's House, a look into today's artist of the Martha Graham Dance Company. And today we're gonna have Miss Ann O'D, Ann O'Donnell. Let me get her on the line. And then let's get started, get pumping. Ann, where are you? Ann, it says unable to join. Why does it say that? Maybe you can request. Okay, Anne, it's not letting me choose you. If you can hear me out there in the interweb. Ask to join me. Maybe we can work it out that way. Yes. Awesome. She's almost here. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I started with technical difficulties. Oh, I tried sorry. to do it on the computer and it was just, it just saw your face frozen. You're like, it was like, no. nope. I'm just going to close the computer. I don't need that. I wanted How you nice you? and big. Like, I wanted to be like life size. I'm good. How are you? Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Wait, let me get this. Now it's a tiny little phone. Fix it up. I also love that room. I like that that teal mint color. Color. We need color in our lives, right? Uh, yes, we're and we're both wearing like a a button down and like yeah. I knew you'd come with a top, so yeah. I only have one in my wardrobe right now. I have a very limited wardrobe. Uh, oh, but I knew you have a hat. I should have gotten a hat. Uh, yeah, I mean I have to. You this rainforest going Face. <laughs> oh, and I'm skipping. No, now we're better. Okay, okay. Ben. I hope we don't have. Oh well, let's get been started. Crazy just... these days. Let's do it. Hey, you know this game, but if you can just introduce yourself and where you're from. Okay. Hi, I'm Anna O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Lebanon, Pennsylvania, and I'm a soloist with the Martha Graham Dance Company. Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you look so good. Thank you. You do, too. you always beautiful. Thanks, Lord. If you can, tell us tell us a little bit about young Anne. What was little Anne like? Mm. She was energetic, <laughs> adventurous. I had um, my hair straight, but I had a big curly blonde curls up for days. Um, I started dancing when I was about five. And I oh. went because my sister, who was nine years older than me, was dancing. And my mom would go pick her up. And then we would get there early. And I would just run across the dance floor and, like, distract all the kids that are, like, <laughs> actually dancing. Yeah, I was, like, a baby and just, like, jumping over the shoes, the slippers. Actually, I want to give a shout out because that sister is Katie. And she's not watching this, probably, because she's got four children at home. But today's her 40th birthday. Oh, yeah. So she's, like, the reason I started dancing. And... Just want to celebrate her. So, yeah, but that's how I started. And I kind of just stayed in dance from then on. Yeah. Cool. And how did you find your way into Graham? Um, so I was at the Ailey School and I was in Ailey 2. And I worked with Jackie Buglisi, Buglisi Dance Theater, who we all love. And like yeah. most of the company works with now. Um, <laughs> and I was freelancing for about a year. Um, teaching dance, doing different like commercial projects, working with Jackie and looking for full-time work. And I auditioned for um, Martha Graham. Actually, funny story about that morning. I was in a hurry and it was like a crazy week, if any freelancer knows what that's like. And I was running to the audition and I get, I lived in Brooklyn and I get into Manhattan and I was like, I left my resume in my apartment in Brooklyn <laughs> and there was no time to go back. And I called up um, my Ailey 2 roommate, who was also going to go to the Martha Graham audition, uh -huh. uh, Tommy Barbaro. Big shout out. Love him. Yeah, it's Tommy. And he was like, get your butt to this audition. I'm like, I don't have my resume. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to make it. 
And he was like, drama. go to a Staples. And I like ran past Union Square and found the uh -huh. Staples and like knocked on their door and they let me in right in time. So they were like just opening and I printed a resume <laughs> and I got to the audition like just in time. Like the girls were already like Nadine and Charlotte already had their legs yes. across their heads. And oh my God, like, you auditioned with Nadine and Charlotte? Yeah. I forgot. What do you think I was before or after? I thought you were... I thought you were before, but I didn't know you were with them, especially all together, three of you. Yeah, all. my audition, the final four was Charlotte, Nadine, myself, and Ann Souter. Work. Yeah. Yes. And I've had the pleasure of dancing with all those beauties, so. Yay. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so then you auditioned. What was your audition like? Um, it was fun. I loved it. Yeah. I remember being a little bit nervous because I always studied Graham at the Ailey School and then Jackie Buglisi's work is very Graham based, yeah. but I hadn't ever gone to the Graham company to have company class. And yeah, I loved it. Um, I remember seeing um, the artistic directors up there and I saw Virginie Messine mm. up there, which made me a little comfortable because um, she had danced with Jackie. So I just felt like I had like a cheerleader over there um, yeah. wishing me well. Yeah, and I just loved, I just saw all these beautiful dancers around me, and I was like, oh, let's do it. I don't know. <laughs> it was fun. What did, you, what did you have to dance in the audition? Um, we did, for contemporary, we did Echo, and I remember Tade teaching as part of Echo, and I mm -hmm. then later on doing the piece, I was like, what are the counts? <laughs> <laughs> Just move. What, what are these steps? Um, um, by Andonis Funidakis. But I mean, I love dancing that piece. And then we also did, of course, Chronicle. And I think that was the only time I've ever done um, the fugue movement. Because I don't do that. I've never done that in all yeah. my years of Chronicle. Oh, always, okay. Uh-huh. I always come out in the back stage left with the, with, um, the steps lead yeah. while the other girls do the whole, yeah. So All right. I laugh. I never have, every time we practice this pose, I'm like, I never have to do that ever. <laughs> like, I'm All these years, <laughs> just my audition. So Watch now. It's going to be like the first thing you do when you go back. <laughs> no. No, I liked, I liked it for the audition. It's, I like keeping it there. Oh, okay. So then you get into the company. Yeah. Oh, you want to hear about my first day? Okay. All right. Wait. Tell us. <laughs> Um, Diversion of Angels and the New Lamentation Variation by Sonia Taye. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was just like, wow, these are really different. So, yes. And yeah, Sonia was, was there. So like, you were yeah. working real hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. That was fun. Now that you've been in the company for a while now, what, um, what, if, what has been some of your favorite roles? Um... Graham or? Um, Graham, or? yeah. Okay. Graham rolls. Um, I absolutely love Dancing the Bride in Appalachian Spring. Yeah. I especially love when we have live music, live orchestra for Appalachian Spring. Mm -hmm. um, I love Red Angel and Diversion of Angels. Red Woman, yes. I will always love Chronicle. I don't care what part I have, ensemble. It's just such a powerful piece for the women coming together that... I could do one little part in that and be proud to dance it. Mm -hmm. um, other pieces that we haven't done a lot, but I loved doing were Primitive Mysteries. Okay. Um, I would love to do um, In Battle Garden again with you. That's why that I posted that photo. That was I was looking fire. at it. Also, I was thinking, like, how many times have we partnered? A lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> Wait, like, my, we've, we've done... partner. In Battle Garden. In Battle Garden. Um, well, we've done Dark Meadow Sweet. Dark Meadow Sweet. Um, um, we've done. We did Axe together. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, we've done Axe together. We've done Red. We've done a version of Angels. Yes. We done, uh, we've done. We've done. What else did we do? Maybe that's it. No, well, then we have all of Buglisi stuff. But I think there's another contemporary piece where we have. Oh, we did El Penitente together. Oh, yeah. Yes, I know. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I'm like, I hope I even remember. We what partner I did. each other in, in Pam Tanowitz. Pam Tanowitz, yeah. 
Yeah, where it's me and you, girl. Yeah, we just, we have moments. <laughs> I like her moments. And then for Bublisi's company, we partnered in each other. Everything. You got to lift me. You got to twirl. I'm twirl down. Me. That's okay. Oh, everybody oh. says hi. Who's saying? <gasps> oh, Lorenzo's I see Lorenzo. Online. Sorry, my so phone's young. so small now. It's one of my, one of my computer. Oh, okay. Oh, so young. Hey, everybody. Oh, why, do, why do you love the bride so much? Why do I love the bride? Um, I, so I started off as a follower and I remember watching the bride and I think any follower you get excited because you're sitting there and then the brides, especially the bride's solo, the music, like you have to sit there and be so still as a follower and the bride's music is just fluttering mm -hmm. and growing. Um, and I think as it was, it's such a long piece and there's a lot of dedication from the very beginning to the end. Um, I mean, with most pieces, but there's no exits. You have to stay on stage and in character. Um, there's a lot of acting, but it has to be sincere. Like you can't, you can't get lost in the gram, like physical drama and get angry and sweaty. Like you have to stay um, elegant and youthful and mm -hmm. you have to have, like, there's just so many colors and emotions and and I think that if it's not working, it, it reads like it's just not, it's just not working. So <laughs> like, you have, yeah, you got to really do a lot of um, a lot of work on it. So I think it's always challenging, even when it feels good. I think there's more and more that comes out of it. So, yeah. Yeah. All right. And then you get What's... to wear like I get to wear a big purple dress and I've never had purple shoes. So <laughs> Charlotte like... doesn't get the purple shoes. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out the NYC Dance Project. They say hi yes. as well. Yes. Oh, NYC Dance Project. We love you always. We love Be you well. guys. All right. Okay. So, Anne, what's your um, what's your dream role of a gr in the Graham repertoire? Hmm. My dream role. Oh, I have a lot. Or like things I'd love to do. I would love to dance. Um, I'd love to learn deep song. Okay. I would love to do Lament in the Acts of Light with the men. Yeah. I just always thought that was so beautiful and simplistic and, and moving. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, I'd love to do the lead in Primitive Mysteries. I, yeah, really love I, some of these, I really love some of these pieces that are so, like Martha's work is so simple and so nuanced that like you can't hide behind anything. So, yeah. yeah. And then I'd love to try something like very different that I always love watching any woman do, which is Aaron into the maze. I mean, that just like that piece is so beautiful. So, yeah. I want to see you do something evil. I know, I know. <laughs> like Medea, like. <laughs> yeah, I would like to do. That's why I like Aaron into the maze or something a little bit darker. But yeah, yeah maybe something evil. Yes. I've got it. I've got it in me somewhere. So <laughs> something dark. <laughs> We'll find it. I got to work on it. We're going to search. We're going to okay. search. You can what choreograph it for me. Wait, say again. You could choreograph it for me. I don't know. <laughs> you got your choreographer's hat on. I know it. I'm ready to go. Bye. <laughs> what about the contemporary works? Oh. What's been one of your favorite, like, choreographers to work with or pieces to perform? Um, so starting at the beginning, you know, which we all had fun going to Sweden with Mott Tech. I think yeah. that that would be a dream to dance that again. We got our one shot at Jacob's Pillow. Mm -hmm. Um, that was just, I just love his work, um, before even meeting him. Like I've always loved his work. Yeah. So then that was such a dream come true to learn and work with him and his wife, Anna. Um, I love working with Pam Tanowitz. Um, she's just such a fun personality and her work was so quirky and I loved, um, dancing Legend of Ten, Flora Lubavitch. Yeah. That just, that just felt like home. Like that was so, I don't know, it felt very good in my body. So. Yeah. You looked great in that. And you did the lead. You were the I lead. did the lead with Lloyd Mayer. He's in yes. Switzerland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Another handsome Lloyd in the company. <laughs> the two Lloyds and the two Anns. We like to double it up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope we do acts again. Yeah. I know. I'm just going to get some wood or something. <laughs> <laughs> if they say we don't have wood or an axe, I'll just call up my dad and be like, can you please bring some wood from Pennsylvania? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>
You better practice. You could practice at home. You have all the time, Lloyd. I do. I can do. I can just go up in the cloisters and just go at it. No, I'm not. I've seen some videos of New York of people having fun on the rooftops. I feel like you could for sure be up people there. People are just doing whatever they can to survive these days in New Aww. York City. <laughs> I hear you're still doing the 7 o'clock, like, ringing the bells. and That's amazing. Yeah. It kind it's of makes really... me miss New York, actually. It's so, it's like those moments where you're like, oh my God, this city is amazing. Yeah. Because literally, like, everyone on my streets, at least, like, you see faces out of the window. People have their pots and pans, and uh, it's That's fun. Amazing. Uh, oh, I love that. Yeah. And tell us about um, a favorite show of yours that you've performed, one that always stays in your memory. Hmm. Okay, so one thing we're going to learn about these conversations is that I'm the worst at favorites. So just going to preface that. Like, <laughs> You're I like, so, yeah, like I number have too 15. many things I like. Okay, but I'm just going to think, yeah. And favorite number 10. Um, <laughs> no, so obviously we all love the Palais Garnier, but I don't think it's tiring to say because it's such an accomplishment as dancers. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, that was just dancing the bride to live music at the Palais Garnier with the Marc Chagall on the ceiling and, yes. you know, and just living in Paris for those weeks. Like, yeah. it just was a, such a phenomenal all around experience. I also loved um, dancing in Madrid because my parents made it to Spain. Oh yeah, that's true. And um, we did a lot of different rep there. We, that was like a, se a season. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, we lived there too. I think anytime we live in Europe and we're dancing, it's just like, Magical. Incredibly memorable. Some funny ones. I remember um, Haiti, the first time I did Red Angel. Okay. And we were in that outside theater in Port-au-Prince. And it was like cement. <laughs> and I had to like stand on one leg. And I was so nervous at that point. Like, you know, you have to get the wobbles out. Yeah. For the version of Angels. And I just remember everybody was like, ah! <laughs> like <laughs> the whole time. And I was just like, Trying to stay on a tail. The audience members, they were going crazy. And like, it was really humid. So my high ponytail was like stuck in my face <laughs> and in my lashes. But no, you did it. Crazy. Oh, yeah. But that's oh. just a funny one. But, yeah. And then all the Jacob's Pillow. Like, I love Jacob's Pillow. So anytime we go there, whatever we do, you just feel. And Veil Dance Festival. All the festivals, like, yeah. they just feel so good. Jacob's Pillow is always, like, I love Jacob's Pillow, but it's always so hard. Oh, yeah. Like, you're like, why am I dying right now? I'm like, Wasn't it sweat. raining? Wasn't it raining this past year, too? And yeah, like, it rained a lot. On the crossover, it was all the rain, and you were trying to, everybody was like, <laughs> the crew was amazing. They're, like, throwing towels down. We're, like, jetting. They're, like, yeah. That was Jacob's funny. Pillow is always, like, a New York season as well. Yeah. It's but I tough. love it. All the signatures and the dressing room and from dancers all around the world. Yeah, yeah. you feel that energy. Yeah. Well, and City Center, too, like you said. New York City Center. Oh, the Joyce. Just it all. All of it. I love it. All, everything. Number 10. <laughs> Number 10, my favorite. <laughs> oh. Okay, so that kind of leads into, like, a favorite tour. Oh, my gosh. Like, you, you said a lot of them. Well, I think I really liked when we did that whole crazy tour. We went to Palermo and then China and mm -hmm. then back to Palermo and then Germany and Turkey and Russia. It was I like a month tour. and a half, two months or something. Yeah, it was pretty like some, some amazing places. Some places that I had always wanted to go. Like I love Italy. Mm -hmm. um, and then I remember being so surprised by Istanbul and Russia. Like yeah. I always thought I wanted to like maybe want to go to Russia, but it wasn't high on my list. And I just... I thought it was such a beautiful, like St. Petersburg and Moscow. Um, yeah, we had so much fun. We lived it up. We got hats. We were all getting hats. <laughs> Do you remember hats. the the breakfast room in Moscow? With, with the harpist? <laughs> <laughs> we all like, were so tired. You walk in and there's a harpist and... <laughs> Champagne, caviar. <laughs> yeah, caviar. I feel like we were all like, well, sure, I'll try some caviar. <laughs> we were so sad to leave. 
I mean, we just have such, ex you know, extreme experiences. People are probably like, oh, that's so rough. But it's that or it's like, <laughs> where were we our first year with the, there was like are a Are you going to say Conway, Arkansas? No. Because that just came out of my mouth. <laughs> no, there was like a little, like, mini, like, closed golf course outside and... Oh, Chuan um, had Chuan had I think an issue with her with her like that the, was somewhere bugs. wasn't it like Florida? It was somewhere in Florida. We don't even remember. We shut that out. <laughs> we like anyway, let that out. Back to the caviar and the show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times. Good times. Always, always. What's my next question for? Oh, your biggest inspiration for for your dancing. Oh, man. Hmm. I just find a lot of inspiration from everything around me. I mean, if we're talking people, I mm -hmm. would say just working with um, Jackie Buglisi and watching her. Like When I first joined and I was very young and I was an apprentice, I just remember watching her work and Therese Capasilli and Virginie and Kevin Predmore and just watching all these older, more mature artists and how they approached um, their work. That was a huge inspiration. Um, mm. But I would say now I just find it in my coworkers. Um, I find it in nature, like I get really excited. I just like, if I'm feeling low or if I need energy, kind of my surroundings, whether that's like a buzzing city or like quiet little town, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just like to try to find it in whatever's around me because, you know, sometimes we're stuck in a quarantine and that's all you got, so. <laughs> Very much, yes. Yeah. <laughs> like my, yeah. Wait, what are you going to say? Like your what? I was say like our, like our shirts. Mm -hmm. Like your shirt's inspiring me today. <laughs> I, I really like yours. I've never seen that on you. You said that's Yeah? Me. No, I've had this. Ooh, all right, where? Can I yeah. borrow? <laughs> Oh, yeah. It'll be a crop top on you. You love your crop tops. Uh, I do love a crop top. Ben Everybody said that as it. well. Last week. I love when we're doing like a gram work rehearsal and you have a crop top. I think you wore one from Battle Garden. I have to like shove my head into your chest and like slide down. And it was just like. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. I mean, you can pull them off always. Who so. doesn't want a crop top? Come on. Some people don't want crop tops. Let's say, yes, I know. Some people absolutely do not <laughs> want one. <laughs> but the Lloyd Knights of the world, they <laughs> always want a crop top. Oh, and what advice would you give to, to the young dancers out there who are trying to make it in the world? Mm. So? Well, I think you have to follow your gut and your instinct. I think that artists, we have it. It's very strong. And I think it'll always kind of guide you to the right place. Um, I think you have to work your off. Like, you have to work hard. And I think that if anyone thinks that it's just going to be easy, it's always challenging. Even when you, like, when you get higher up into your career and goals that you have, you have to, you know, start anew and find new ways to challenge yourself and reinvent yourself. Um, and to have fun and to never forget that because I mean that's kind of why we all started that's why I like ran around and interrupted my sister's dancing when I was a kid because it just was fun mm -hmm. you know like you know we all have so much fun dancing to music at parties or you know anywhere so you just gotta find that and keep that in all of the roles that you do yeah that's good that's well said for sure because I feel like when dancers like you just get so wrapped up in everything going on and the rehearsals and the stress. Yeah. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's important to realize why you got into it in the first place. Mm -hmm. so... Yeah, and I mean, you have to enjoy it because if you're not enjoying it, nobody in the audience is going to enjoy watching you. You know, that's just a tough reality. Because like... they feel it off of you. Oh, yeah. They feel that energy. Wait, now we're going to we're going to open it out to everybody out there. In okay, the, who's in, in here? Inter, in the interweb, they can ask you questions. So people shoot out some questions, but we already have two so far. Um, wow, first one, how long have you danced the bride? 
<clears throat> God, is it four years? When did we go to Pontus? My premiere was um, the Library of Congress, and we also premiered Pontus Lidberg's Woodland. Yes. I think that was, I think that was four years ago. You, oh yeah, your premiere was I think at it was, Library I premiered Congress? it, I premiered it, we danced it for a little while, and then we kind of took a break from it at okay. spring, and then the last two years we've been doing it quite a bit. So, okay. yeah, I think four years. All right, four years. Next question. Um, do you remember when you first discovered Martha Graham? Yes. Um, I was at Movement Laboratory. Huge shout out to my dance school um, in Lebanon, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> and we had um, like a fusion modern class. And I just remember doing the contractions and the bounces. And I remember the bounces with your legs, your feet coming forward. And I was little and I was trying to go back, but go forward, but go back and go forward. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you're bouncing, yeah. bouncing your feet flexed and parallel in front of you. And I was like, I'm up and I'm back and I'm up and I'm back. And um, yeah, I remember that feeling. And then I remember feeling like I, like I was good at it. And I liked it. I was like, what is, it's like, what is this? Like at first it was like, this is the most awkward thing ever. And then I was like, Hmm. You're like, I, like I got that. this. Yeah. And, oh, then it just, and then it just grew from like actually having proper gram classes and yeah. Right. Wait, we have another one. Um, oh, Natalia Hill's here. <laughs> Everybody's on here, girl. Out. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she went to Movement Laboratory too. She's fabulous. We love Movement Laboratory. We love it. It's a good um, name. How did you get from your hometown to New York? Oh, good question. Um, well, so I went to, after high school, I knew I wanted to dance, but I didn't know in what way or, so I went to Goucher College, shout out to Goucher College. I was there for a year and a half and I just decided that I wanted a little bit more um, of, you know, a specific, specifically focused on dance and I wanted to be concentrated in that. So I went to the Ailey School on scholarship and I was deferred and I was going to go back to Goucher College. I thought it was just going to be fun, but I fell in love with it and I was like, this is what I want to focus on. Um, so I just, just kept deferring and just stayed in New York. And um, fortunately, I kept here, I kept growing and finding things that were reminding me that I was on the right path. And so I just stuck with it. Yeah. And then I, event I moved to New York when I was... 19 and was I've lived it, all over the place. Was it really shocking to you? How was it when you first arrived that feeling? I just remember thinking I'm taking a big risk and I better do well and make it <laughs> worthwhile. Cause my parents are probably like, my parents were like, go Amy. And also like, like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> no, they're incredibly supportive, but I think they were also like, no, nobody knew. Like, my sister, like I said in the beginning, my sister danced, but then she stopped. So I didn't have any professional um, artists in the family or friends to, like, ask questions. I mean, I didn't even know what a professional career in dance meant or what it looked like or what the possibilities were. Yeah. Um, so I really kind of went into it unknown and... Um, yeah, I just, I just, something, like I said in the beginning, something in my gut, and I couldn't explain why. I just, it wasn't like I was always like, I'm going to be a dancer. It was just like, I just kept thinking, like, I really, this makes me happy. I love it. I love the challenge. And I kept wanting to get better. And then when I got to New York, and there was like, I was no longer like, you know, big fish in a little pond. Like, the pond got big. And I was just like, I was excited by it. I was like, there's so many, just so many different styles of movement and different yeah. people from all around the world and it just yeah. opened up a whole new a whole new box yeah oh. yeah cool <laughs> um people get them questions out where are the questions Spadano. people come on um wait here. well we have we have a couple though still what is your most challenging martha movement what is the most challenging martha movement for you when you start training when you start your training um I mean, I think that we are all still working on our contraction. 
<laughs> every day. <laughs> um, and, you know, and I think the contraction, we all have different bodies and different. So sometimes you see, you have to find what's pure in your body for, you know, your shoulders over your hips and to not hold your breath when you do it. Um, and I have a very flexible spine, but making sure that it's true. I think, I think we're always working on that. Um, yeah, I think that's just, I mean, yeah, I think, yeah, that's it. Just, it's always going to be something that, and I think my point of that is trying to initiate with it. So then you have the contraction, but you go to do these advanced roles and how to make sure that each movement you're initiating with the contraction, you're initiating with the, the back. Um, mm -hmm. I think there's a purity in Graham's work. And um, sometimes when the movement gets fast, keeping that going. Oh, it's a little frozen. Oh, I'm frozen. No, now you're back. Now you're back. Okay, I'm back. You were saying when you mm. when you initiate. Yeah, I was just saying, like, I think Martha's movements, like, with the contraction, it's all about the initiation. So mm -hmm. um, once things get more advanced in the choreography, you still have to make sure you're initiating from the right spot so, to make it, like, I think the true work, with, with whether it's the contraction or the spiral. Yeah. So, yeah. Next question we have is, what kind of cross training do you do? Mm. I like everything. Um, I love to do a lot of hot vinyasa because I love to stretch it out. Um, you love yoga. That feels good. Yeah, I love yoga. Um, I like to run some places. <laughs> some places. <What? laughs> <laughs> so, I run, run there, but not there. No, like... <laughs> I don't really like running on hard streets. I have really high arches and that can be painful. Yeah, you do. Um, yeah, that's too much. I need like moon shoes to do that. Um, cross training. Yeah, I like, I mean, I like going to the gym. I like cross training like that. Um, Pilates, I like Pilates. Mm -hmm. I love swimming in nature. I don't really go to a pool and swim, but I, I could swim like in the ocean or the lake any day. And I love what swimming does for dancers, helps relax the muscles and stuff, so. Cool, all right. We have another question that was sent. Some of them come privately. Oh. Um, yes. <laughs> uh -oh. um, what other dance company would you dance for if you didn't have Graham? I don't know. Who are you? Are you hiring? Like, what? what stop it right now. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I just mean there's not enough companies in the world. I was just telling a young dancer that the other day. I was like, where are all the dance companies? Um, I think it's a hard time for artists. And I feel like we're very fortunate to dance with Graham. <clears throat> and for me to be a part of a legacy like Graham. Um, but I mean, I love uh, many years ago, <clears throat> I loved Pina Bausch which is very, um, I'm in Chicago now and I love Hubbard Street. So shout out to Hubbard Street. Um, I came from the Ailey School and I always think their dancers are phenomenal and they have such a diverse repertoire. Um, yeah, just all those amazing companies. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah. Um, so Young has a question. Do you have any funny stories on the stage? Oh my God. I feel like they're all revolving around like some pain I was dealing with. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> well, just remember just a little while ago, we were in Montclair, uh -huh. State, Montclair State University, when we were working with Troy Schumacher. And I was, I was so excited. I was supposed to dance the bride that night and then Troy's new piece and Clayton was there and I was so excited. Yeah. And on the way, walking to the bus, walking to West Beth, the wind blew and something got in my eye. And I don't know if you remember, but like the whole day, I was just like, guys, there's something in my eye. There's something in my eye. And like, I scratched my eyeball and yeah. I couldn't put makeup on. It was like an hour before show. And I had to go to Charlotte, who's the other bride for people who don't know. It was beyond runny. Like, it was just water. Like... I came across those photos in my like Google photos the other day. And I was like... Oh, why am I keeping these? It was just like, <laughs> like, it was so unfortunate looking. And I remember trying to put makeup on like one side of my face and then this one was just red and swollen. Anyway, so for everybody, 
it was not funny at the time. I was actually very disappointed because I think as artists, it's our job to get on stage. And I tried so hard, but um, Appalachian Spring is a half hour. Um, I would have been the bride and I don't go off stage. And I literally was blinking every two seconds. So I didn't do that. But what was funny about that show was Charlotte went in for me for the bride. Uh -huh. She was Charlotte. Um, and <laughs> I still had to do Troy because nobody, nobody could fill in. And I just am walking, running around doing all this fast movement with like one eye. <laughs> but you were so fierce. I remember thinking. I was, I felt so embarrassed for the audience. They were probably like, what's with that girl? Like nobody could like, tell, but like we knew we were like, she's only looking out of one eye right now. And the <laughs> light. <laughs> well, and also the lights were so bright, so that it was kind of like still twirly. Uh... Yeah, that was funny. Let's see. I remember. Um... Yeah, I don't know. There's just so much. I remember I had an allergic reaction in China, and I was on drugs that they gave me in Italy. But we flew from Italy to China. I remember I had like a I had like a rash on my face and allergic reaction and we had to do right of the spring right of right of spring where we're like in sheer tops and I'm just like so nervous. <laughs> I'm sure there's funny ones that are just actually funny and not like horrific. Well, I mean it is you kind of you have to laugh at it at the oh, situation. Yeah. Uh, wait, we have another <laughs> hey, Jing has a question for you. Oh, hey Jin, hi. Um Anya what do you eat right before performance? Any secret? Because you are beautiful and strong on stage all the time. Well, so that's our stage manager, production supervisor, Heijin Han. And um, she comes around and gives every single dancer a hug and says Mared before going on stage. So regardless of what I eat, um, I think it's Heijin Han's hug. Yes. <laughs> but, you know, you eat the veggies, but not too many veggies, because that, that's not good for you either, that raw right beforehand. <laughs> a little protein. Uh -huh. a little, you know, I love a banana and peanut butter. That helps you. It's gentle on the belly, gives you some potassium. Yes. Hydrate, make sure you hydrate. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, we love fishing. I mean, I've never witnessed that before. She literally goes to every single dancer. Every like, single dance. finds you. I know. <laughs> and I've started to, like, I don't get very superstitious at all. Like, mm -hmm. I don't have, like, a favorite thing I have to do before I dance. But I, well, there's been some times where I'm like, oh, I didn't get Haitian's hug before a show. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, mm, wah, wah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, uh, nah. But would you, going back to, like, before a show, do you, because I know I really enjoy the time when I'm putting on my makeup. Oh, yeah. Do you do you consider that like a, a great moment for you before performing? Oh, yeah. Um, I think that I've been blessed to do so many different types of pieces with Graham. And mm -hmm. I've had quite a number of shows where I've been fortunate enough to be in every single piece. So when we're switching like extreme rep and extreme characters, um, I think my makeup and my hairstyle has to help me a lot because sometimes, you know, before the show, we have like an hour or more to do our makeup and get ready. Yeah. Um, but then you have a quick change and you're switching from like, I don't even know, like the bride or diversion of angels to like Annie V Parsons. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like getting a big orange tutu on and practicing my lines. Cause we speak in that piece. Yes. Um, so, yeah, I think I think the makeup definitely helps and um, kind of getting into a prep. Like, I have to think about my character right beforehand or just completely switch it. Like, no matter what happened with the piece beforehand, whether it was phenomenal or just a mess, like, as soon as you have to, like, quick change into something else or you have your intermission, it's, like, new character, new person. Because yeah. um, there's not a lot of time to really transition sometimes. and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just yeah. gotta dump in it. Uh, oh yeah. Like we have a. Oh, you actually just answered this. Do you or the company have a pre-show ritual? And you just answered that. You can say more, but I know, like the company, sometimes we 
depending on the piece, we'll do a big group like circle yeah. and just read together. Mm -hmm. so yeah, we always, I mean, we always have, there's always a gram class and which is optional. Um, and usually the majority of everyone takes it unless you're only doing like contemporary that night, maybe you need to feel more loose. Um, and then, yeah, like the circle, we hold hands and Leslie always says three breaths mm -hmm. and then we do three breaths. Um, <laughs> yeah. I feel like we should feel like we should all call each other and just do three breaths. Like that would be good for us. Right? Yes, three, D, three breaths. Three breaths, and then Ben's like not sure if he wants to be in. Yeah. Like, like that's our ritual. Ben's always on the side, and we're like Ben, huh? and he's like, okay, well, can we? Let's make it fast. Let's make it fast. <laughs> and we're like. We <laughs> Charlotte, oh. Charlotte's here. She says, hi, gorgeous people. We love bonjour. Charlotte. Bonjour. 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 All right, Anne. So now we're going to do like a flash around of questions. Yeah. <sighs> Just let it out. Huh? Okay. Um, ready and go. Favorite song? <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh my God, I told you I don't have favorites. And no, it's okay. Nature's main white teal. Um, Dancing in the Moonlight, Van Morrison. Okay, all right. Favorite color? Blue, royal blue. Royal, that's one of mine too. Um, favorite drink? Red wine. Do you snore? Oh, was that even alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> Just favorite drink? Water. <laughs> um, no, I don't snore. Um... <laughs> I hope not, unless I have like a cold. Um, <laughs> <laughs> favorite borough? Borough? Yeah. Oh my god, I've lived in almost all of them. I mean, I love Manhattan, but I live in Queens, so I'll shout out to Queens. Okay, shout out Queens. Rain or shine? Rain? I mean, sun. Rent shine. Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I can't take you seriously. All we do is laugh together. I was, <laughs> I was like, this is going to be such a... Oh, I can't curse. Can People I? tuning in are just like, um, what's happening? I know. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so you said sun. So <laughs> yeah. You like the shine. Sunshine. You want the sunshine. <laughs> dressy, yeah. or dressy or relaxed? Relaxed. Mm. Bus or plane? Plane. Shower or bath? Both. I bath. Yeah, I don't have a bathtub, so I miss the baths. <laughs> that would be cool, though, like to take a bath and then still <laughs> feel like. That would be nice if you do like a hot bath with Epsom salt, and then but but you know you always, you always get hot, and then you turn mm -hmm. on the cold shower, and it's like. So both. Both. <laughs> we'll start that hashtag. Shower bath. Um, favorite movie? Oh, um, I'll go with a classic. I like To Kill a Mockingbird. Okay, awesome. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Favorite dessert? Um, I'm fairly simple. I just love ice cream. Okay. Gelato. What, what flavor? Mm, vanilla, pistachio, mm. strawberry. Favorite number? Three. Biggest pet peeve? Oh. Um, social, like when people, when people are in line with you and they're standing like, like over your shoulder. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> and we've experienced a lot of that on tour when we travel. Yeah. We're in line and like, I'm like, you know, a normal little half a foot, foot away mm -hmm. from you and someone's like, <laughs> breathing in your hair That's you're like it. um <laughs> always like in line for the for the plane in line for the train in line for the bus <laughs> just in line. <laughs> in line wait so young student so young you were you're late girl she has a question so now we know you don't like favorites who is your favorite partner <laughs> oh and you can name all of them yeah um, you've, had, you've had a lot, uh, no? I've had a lot. I've had female partners too. Like I've danced with So Young and and Haitian. I mean, a Haitian. <laughs> she is a dancer. <laughs> Haitian, she's like always in my heart. 
<laughs> no, I was thinking about um, how Marcia and Ying and I have done the Deo duet. Um, okay. Uh, no, I don't have a favorite partner. Bad question, Sam. I Ooh, love everybody. Sonya. I love. I love everybody. She just wants to bring just up be, that drama. She's just like, be ready. Know your know your step. Just know your step. <laughs> and don't. That's drop your me. rule. It's just know your step. Know your step. Don't drop me. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and then the most important flash round question: pointed or flexed? You know. And I know for you, it's pointed. I mean, flex is all right. There's a time and a place. But if I had those feet, I would be pointing. I would be pointing all I the time. I love pointed well. feet. <laughs> I love pointed feet. Everyone, if you don't know her feet, please check them out. Go to her page. <laughs> I have some pictures up. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Oh, and we did the interview. Oh, we did it. That was fun. Thank you. No, you Thanks. were awesome. Thanks Unless anybody it. has any questions out there they want any to shoot questions? out really fast within the next, like, minute get them out there but yeah we did it no? oh ashley turchok hi who's ashley she went to goucher college oh hey shout out <laughs> shout i haven't out. been looking at this little thing it's so small so yeah, yeah you'll be surprised that all the what? people that you'll be like oh my god you're tuning in great <laughs> i know all i'm doing is looking at your face like as part of this whole thing i forgot people were even here <laughs> no. i'm like hmm favorites <laughs> but Anne, thank you so much. Uh, I know. I love you. I hope you stay healthy and sane. I love and... You too. The same to you. Yeah. Hope, you know, sending you a big hug, hug and a kiss. Uh, I can't wait to see you. I know. I can't wait to actually see faces like in the real, like in reality. I know. I yeah, know. I want to see all of this. Oh no. I, like I that. know. Wow. <laughs> All the men real. are doing that. Everybody's doing that now. Uh, but the hair is just really so out of control right now. Like Mine's just getting longer and more scraggly. We like long hair. Cool. Yeah. But, but it's fun it's fun to play with things. Yeah, Maybe. no, for sure. For sure. We'll see how long it gets. But, Maybe I should just wear them like find the Marie Chouinard mustache can you, just so can i can relate imagine, to all the men right now can you imagine clayton would be like um i'm sorry <laughs> those were fun those mustaches those mustaches These girls were great for everybody out there marie chenard um did a piece on the women and they had mustaches oh yeah and we had a quick change into those too a lot of us from like i remember from cave of, no from that we did that to cave of the heart and Aunt Souter used to help me and I used to be like, I'm a princess, I'm a princess. Because I had to go from Cave of the Heart, where there was like a man with a mustache, to like a princess in like a little white dress in Martha Graham's Cave of the Heart. Don't you like, love dance? Don't you love our job? No wonder we're crazy. It's like, I'm a man, I'm a princess, I'm a... I'm a pretty princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times, good oh times. Oh my God, we and... And we love you. We love you, Lloyd Knight. For sure. But yeah, you I always make you. me laugh. Yeah. Always. Have a good weekend. You too. It's sunny here, and we've had some rain, and I'm just here gonna, as well. I'm gonna enjoy the sunshine. Take it's, advantage. Yeah. Because that's the one I like. The sunshine. Shout out Martha Graham. Oh, Big shout high. out Martha Graham. Tim Jones, former soloist. All the Graham <gasps> people are on beautiful. board. But. All right, Anne. Have a good day. Okay. Love to everybody. Love you. Take care. Bye. Bye, Anne. Bye. Anne, thank you. And thank you, everybody out there that tuned in and watched. Um, always fun to do these for myself. And people have been saying they learn a lot about the artists, which is really great. And that's the purpose. So, um, really happy that everybody is able to watch these and get something out of them. Um, it's just another reminder that the videos, sorry, I'm like, uh, uh, the videos are saved. 
on the Martha Graham YouTube page. So you can always look back at the artists that have been interviewed so far. And yeah, I hope everybody's doing well and mind, body, spirit intact and awesome. And thank you again. And I'll see you next week for another two interviews. Um, look on my page to find out who's going to be next. And have a good weekend. Bye.